Hi guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how you want to go about buying Golem tokens with a Visa card or a bank transfer and storing them safely and locally on your computer in a wallet. So obviously there's a bunch of ways that you can go about buying tokens. You can buy them on various exchanges and also store them on those exchanges, but that's not very secure. So this tutorial is for those of you who want to actually store them securely in your local wallet on your computer. So let's get started. So before we get started, let's just make sure that we have all the things you need in order to complete the tutorial, which is as follows. A computer, both a PC or a Mac will do just fine here, but we will be using a Windows 10 PC for this tutorial. You will need a payment method like a Visa card or a bank that you can transfer money from, or a cryptocurrency like Ethereum, Litecoin or Bitcoin. You will also need an Ethereum wallet to hold a Golem. For this tutorial, we will be downloading and installing the Mist wallet. You will need a picture ID in order to buy Ethereum online with your Visa card that we will then be turning into Golem. And you will need a hard disk with 30 gigabytes of space in order to store the blockchain from the Ethereum uh, Mist wallet. And finally, you will need a little bit of patience. Just have a little patience. The first step will be installing the Mist wallet. And the reason we're doing this step first is because the wallet will have to download the entire blockchain which is currently at around 20 gigabyte. So we want to get this process started so it can run in the background while we do some of the other stuff. So we're starting off with a pretty clean Windows 10 installation here. I just installed Chrome and the screen recording software to get started. So it should be a pretty authentic experience that you can follow step by step. First, I will be going into Chrome and downloading the Mist wallet. Just Google Mist wallet and the top link will be the GitHub page for the wallet. I will also include a link in the description below this video. Once you get to the page, you want to scroll down until you get to the download links. And then you want to download the installer for uh, the appropriate operating system that you're using. This is the one for Windows 10. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Uh, I'm on a Wi-Fi on this computer, so it will just take a second to download. Let's uh, just fast forward and skip this. Okay, so we're done downloading the installer now. Let's go ahead and click on the downloaded exe file. So Windows will come up and prompt you for security. If you're not administrator, you won't be able to install it. So make sure you're logged in as administrator on the computer. During the installation, you will be prompted twice to select a folder. The first is for where to install the program and it doesn't take up a lot of space, so you can just choose wherever. The second one, however, is for where you want to store the blockchain data. It's currently at around 20 gigabytes, so make sure that you select the drive with sufficient space. You will not be able to move the blockchain after the installation without reinstalling the entire wallet. So we're done with the installation and you just click on the executable and it will launch the wallet. Now the first time you launch the wallet, there are a couple of things that you need to um, decide. We will go through them just now so um, I can explain them. Let's minimize this. So it's going to take a long time to download the blockchain uh, when you first launch the wallet, but um, you can get access to the wallet and start setting it up before it's done downloading. So let's just click allow exit here, access here for the Windows firewall. First, you'll have to choose if you want to use the test network, uh, test network or the main network. You will want to choose the main network. So you can download a wallet file if you already have one. Um, let's just click skip. So now you want to enter a password. This is very, very important and you cannot forget this password. If you forget the password, you will lose your Ethereum or your Golem tokens and your Golem tokens. Um, so you want to pick a password that you can remember. Remember, At the same time, you also want to pick a very difficult and complicated password that cannot be broken, at least if you are going to be storing a lot of coins uh, or tokens. If you just want to store a few tokens, don't worry about it. You can just pick a simple password and no one, uh, well, the risk of theft will be lower. So I just uh, picked the password I can remember. You can actually see it's downloading the blockchain here um, below. So. Um, Let's click next. It's then going to prompt us to back up our key file and password. We will be doing that in just a moment. So for now, you can just close this window. Here, there's an option to actually deposit Ethereum into the wallet right now using Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency. But we don't want to do that just now. So for now, just close down the wallet 
and reopen it using the link in your desktop. Once the wallet opens up, it's going to start checking the network and find peers. It's then going to connect to those peers and start downloading the blockchain. This is going to take a couple of hours probably, so we're going to leave this in the background and then move on to step two, which will be to create an account on Coinbase and buy Ethereum with a Visa card and then send that Ethereum to our missed wallet once it's done downloading the blockchain so we can then turn it into Golem tokens. For creating an account on Coinbase, I will kindly ask you to use the affiliate link that you will find in the top of the description below this video. That way we will both earn a reward of $10 once you do your first Bitcoin purchase of at least $100. So the link will be in the top of the description below the video and you can also see it on the screen now. So please go ahead and use this link and you will get to a page that looks just like this. You just fill in your first name, last name, email and choose a password and then confirm that you are not a robot if indeed you are not and accept the license agreements and click sign up. You will then have to verify your email by clicking the link in the email that you just received. So go ahead and open your inbox, find the email that you just received from Coinbase and click the link to verify your account. Once your account has been verified, you are now ready to log in on the page. So go to the front page, click the login link and log in with the email and password that you just selected. Once you're logged in, you will be greeted with a dashboard that looks something like this. Unfortunately, before you can actually add a payment method, you will have to verify your phone number and upload a picture ID. This is obviously to avoid fraud. So obviously I've already done all of this stuff, so I will just log out of this account and log into my own, but go ahead and verify your phone number and upload your picture ID and then add a Visa card as a payment method. Okay, so here I am back on my own account which is fully verified, we're going to click buy sell in the top of the screen, select Ethereum as the coin you want to buy and then enter the amount. I can only buy two Ethereum because I'm close to my weekly limit already, but you can go ahead and enter however much you can get away with. As you can see, I have already added my payment method here, but you can just go ahead and click add payment method if you haven't done this already. And then you can add payment method here and either choose bank or Visa card. Visa card is going to be fairly instant within 10, 20 minutes. A bank is going to take a couple of bank days. So the rest of this process is fairly straightforward. Just enter how much you want to buy, click buy Ethereum, add your Visa card and then confirm. Once your purchase go through, you should be able to see it here as an incoming or pending transaction. You can also click the accounts tab and then click your either wallet if you did purchase either. And you should be able to see it here as a pending transaction as well. Once uh, it confirms, it has enough confirmation. I do believe it's 12 confirmation as such. It should take about five minutes. You will be able to see the coin show up in your dashboard um, right here. So the next step will be sending this Ethereum to our missed wallet so that we can turn it into Golem. But before we do that, we just want to go back to the wallet and make sure that it's done downloading the blockchain. Once the blockchain is done downloading, you can see this in the bottom left corner of your missed wallet. You then want to click your account and select your Ethereum address from right here and then copy that address by clicking Control C. You actually can't right click here, so click Control or Apple C or whatever your copy command is. Then you simply go back into Coinplace and click send request. You then want to select either from the wallet selection. Paste the address that we just copied into the recipient field and enter the amount that you want to send. You can just click use max and it will send all the Ethereum that you have. And you can write an optional message to yourself here. So we're going to go ahead and click send funds. You're going to get a little confirmation screen. Just click confirm. And that's it. The funds are now sent and within a minute or two, you should have them in your missed wallet. You can see the status of it here. Right now it's pending. It should take a couple of minutes before it's got 10 or 12 confirmations. And then it should show right up in your wallet. So let's go back over to our missed wallet. You can see now our balance is three either. And if we click our main account, we can see our exact balance, which is 2.999 either here. You don't then want to click on contracts. 
go down to uh, where you can see your tokens. Right now we only have unicorns, so you click watch token. And then you enter the token contract address for Golem. You can find it in the description of this video. You click OK. And then you can now see your Golem network token down there and you have zero tokens in your address. So now we want to get some Golem and we are ready to uh, accept them into our account. So you go in here and click copy address. So you get the address for your Ether wallet. You go into the website here called shapeshift.io. This is a really cool site. It's very, very slow sometimes. I assume they have a lot of traffic, so you need a little bit of patience here. Um, so you load the site. It's going to take probably 10 or 30 seconds or so to load it. So this is this requires no login. Uh, you can't even create a user here. You simply select which uh, currencies you want to ch change between. And then you get an instant payout in your selected um, cryptocurrency. So let's just give it a second to load here. Here we go. So you click on the deposit um, symbol and you select Ethereum. Then you click on the withdraw serial as a receive address and select Golem. You paste your Ethereum wallet. Very important that you paste your Ethereum wallet into this field here and the same wallet into your Ethereum refund address. The refund address is just in case that something goes wrong, they can refund your payment. Double check this. I cannot stress this enough. It's super important that you take your Ethereum wallet address and paste it into this field. Not the Golem address, not any other address, the Ethereum wallet address. So you click submit and then you get a page that looks something like this. Once you see this page, it says send to this address. You then select that address, copy it, and then go back over to your wallet and then you simply send Ethereum to that address. You might want to start with a small amount uh, just to make sure that it works. So I paste in the address here. I just select uh, 0 0.5 um, Ethereum. That's how much I want to send. Uh, you can send as much as you want, obviously, but um, I, I think there's a max of 17 Ethereum or something like that. Um, but uh, we're just going to start with 0 0.5 just to confirm that it works. Click send. It's going to prompt for your password. So we're going to go ahead and enter that. Send transaction. And now if we go back to the um, to the Shapeshift website here, you should see in a couple of seconds, it's right now uh, awaiting deposit. It's probably going to be 10, 15 seconds. Then that's going to turn green and it's going to uh, go to awaiting exchange status. And that usually takes one or two minutes. And um, yeah, and then it's done. So let's just fast forward through this and uh, see what happens. So there we go, that all took about a minute and a half and we should now have 224 Golem tokens in our wallet. So let's go ahead and switch over to our missed wallet here. So if you click on your main account on your main wallet, you can now see that there are 224 Golem tokens just under your either amount. And when you mouse over it, you can see a send button in the far right side. The last two things we'll be doing is first we'll be taking a backup of this wallet so we don't lose it. And then finally I will be sending the remaining two and a half either and 224 Golem tokens to my other account so you guys can see how you send either and Golem as well. So first thing first, let's take a backup. If you click on the account tab in the top, then you click on backup and you click on accounts. This will open a folder with a folder called Keystone highlighted. All you have to do is simply copy that folder and just place it somewhere safe. If you put a safe enough password, you can just place it anywhere. You don't have to uh, be too afraid of other people finding it. But only if you have a strong password, just put it in Google Cloud or somewhere um, where you're sure not to lose it. If you don't have a safe password, however, you want to keep it offline on a USB stick or something like that. So finally, let's uh, click the send button. You can either click the main account and then click send by your Golem tokens. Right here. You can also just click the send button in the top. Let's start by sending the Golem tokens. Uh, you first want to just click the Golem network tokens out in the right side here and then just enter your either address right here. This is my main wallet account. I just click send everything and scroll down and click the send button. I enter my password, click send transaction. 
And in a minute or two, my uh, golem tokens will be over on my main wallet. You can, they're still here. It takes a couple of confirmations before they're sent. Um, we can actually scroll down here and see a status. They'll probably still have zero confirmations. Yeah. So as soon as this gets a couple of confirmations, the, they're going to fly out of this wallet. But while we wait for that, let's uh, go ahead and also just send my Ether tokens to my main account. Using the same address here, just send everything. going to send two and a half Ether. Click send. So sending Ether and sending Golem is pretty much the same. You can send them both just to uh, an Ether address and either wallet and that's it so now we just have to wait for confirmations and that's it and we're done that's it from me today guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you found this video useful if you have any questions to this video please leave them in the comments below and i will be sure to get back to you as soon as possible if you like the content please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this video if you want to see more videos from me thank you very much guys have a fantastic day